We got a book, we got a book, we got a book, we got a book, 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 got a book, got a book, 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 got a book, got a book, got a book, 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 got a book, got a book, 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 got a 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 book, Welcome back to my channel today. We're gonna be talking about some 3 a.m. challenges. I'm scared. Guys, it's October. If, you, if you're living under a rock and you didn't know, that means spooky stuff. That means we're doing a lot of scary stuff on our Sam and Colby channel. That means new 3 a.m. merch coming soon. So we gotta go into the 3 a.m. ish. And I was thinking about a lot of stuff and I was like, hey, I don't know any more 3 a.m. challenges. So instead, how about we get an audience <laughs> or an audience to help me choose a 3 a.m. challenge. Specifically, what was the scariest 3 a.m. challenge I've done? Oh! If you guys get this to 50,000 likes, and I look down in the comments and there is a deciding factor, this is the scariest 3 a.m. challenge, blank, whatever, I will do that on Halloween. So there's my promise to you guys. If you like it, Colby decides which one I should do. Well, we're gonna take a look at all of my past 3 a.m. challenges right now and make a decision. We're gonna start off with one of my favorites and actually one of the first ones I ever done ever. It's called the hosting game. Hosting game, so I'm gonna give a little backstory on what that is very quickly and then I'm gonna show you the scariest part of what happened. Mm. I picked all the ones that you haven't really been a part of uh, so that you could be a objective viewer and say which one was the scariest. Okay. So in the hosting game, very simple, you're hosting a party, but that party is of ghosts. And uh, basically you turn off all the lights and you go into each individual room, besides the one that you're summoning in, and say, we will be ready soon. We will be ready soon. Just go into each different room. And then after you say that towards the main group, you write an invitation. Just like any other party. It's a fun party. All yeah. right, I, I get it. Yeah. And then you try to light three matches. And if mm. the third match, it strikes on the very first one, meaning it lights, then you're good. People are coming to your party. Well, not people, ghosts. Oh! Yeah! So anyway, a lot of crazy things happened when we did this video. Oh uh, man. And this was like three years ago. But uh, I wanna show you the craziest. I'm part. scared! I haven't watched these videos in since I posted them basically, so for like three years. I don't think many people in our friend group has even ever seen these videos. Mm. It's kind of freaky. Okay, so basically, <laughs> we're gonna set the scene. <laughs> Everyone's pissed off at me, as they always are during these 3 a.m. challenges, because <laughs> we can end the ritual like right now if we want. So anyway, Corey's yelling at me, and here we go. Corey. What the crap? My light is on. Wait, what Wait, was why that? Is your light on? I don't know. Wait, seriously, why is your light on? I actually don't know. I, I really don't. Seriously, no. we'll end the game. As soon as I figure out what's in this room. <laughs> What the fuck was that? Okay, it's, it's gone. What was that? It's done? It's done. Oh, well, that's the end of the game. I don't shit. Know Holy shit. Okay, so this was a reoccurring problem. I don't know if you remember this as well as I do. Yes. Well, but that like, painting fell down like just all the time. In yeah, general. that one and the two parrot ones, you know, Toucan Sam's. Always fall down. So Toucan Sam painting and that painting for some reason fell down in every Midnight Game video and all these other ones. So like- Even like I, off camera. Yeah, maybe it was maybe it was just a faulty painting, but that was perfect timing. Some people in the comments have always said like when we walked in, it's like the air and that could have been the triggering falling over if it was like really, I don't know, light or something. But what do you think? Have you ever seen I don't know. I feel like uh, in a wooden house, you know, when you're walking, it absorbs the motion. The wood absorbs that motion and goes into the wall and shakes it and vibrates it on a small micro level. So he's calling us fat. Nice. Yes, and there was like a herd of you guys. <laughs> True, <laughs> like a herd of five people like running out scared. <laughs> yeah, and y'all were like, ah, ah, what the f is that? I don't know, it, like could be haunted, could not be. That painting f fell all the time, but. It was great timing. But hosting game, very scary. I would love to throw another party. So we'll rate them at the end. Our next 3 a.m. challenge is called the 11 miles ritual. It's where you run 11 miles on a treadmill and right when you start to sweat, a ghost comes out and touches your ass. Right? The ritual is basically you have to run a half marathon without sweating <laughs> and ghosties will finger your butt. So with that being said, I've done this ritual <laughs> twice. And what's really interesting about this is like there is like legit 
evidence that there's absolutely no possible way of any like debunking. You know, like there's always like these things where it's like, ah, it could be this or like our hosting game thing. Oh, it could just be like the vibrations that make a painting fall. Cool. And I'm all down for debunking. But on this, there isn't. The 11 miles ritual, other than the half marathon running with the sweating ghosts, is you basically drive down a road for 11 miles and each mile is supposed to give like a different thing. Like either you're supposed to like see something or it's supposed to get hotter or like your car is supposed to like, you know, malfunction or something like that, whatever. But if you're able to go through the entire 11 miles, a wish is supposed to be granted. So it's a good ritual. Oh. It's basically like, yo, I want a million dollars. Sure, let me drive 11 miles. So if this scary. worked, what was your wish? I don't remember. You don't remember your one wish? Basically what happened is I was in this random forest driving my 11 miles. <laughs> by yourself? By myself. Jesus. I do a lot of weird stuff by myself. And I ran out of my car at the 11th mile to go see something, which was probably one of the most horrifying things I've done, because you're out in the forest alone, with, like literally alone, like my phone didn't even freaking work out there. So I got back in the car and it starts malfunctioning. And you tell me how this isn't like random coincidence or like a ghost thing. Like my car literally breaks down at this moment during a 3 a.m. challenge. And ever since, I have not had a problem with my car. Really? Holy <laughs> One second. Is this for real? That. Good. So it's already like not turning over. And you can see that the car is like on, like the battery's yeah. still there. It's just not turning over. Oh, did it work? <laughs> Holy sh. Holy crap. Alright. Okay. And then all of a sudden. I don't know what those buzzes are or whatever like that, but did you see that? I literally think my car died. Okay, I know I turned it off and turn it back on. What are all these beeps? Holy crap. And all of a sudden like, more lights just went out. More freaking lights just went out. Multiple Both my lights brake lights, not even just, just my real light, rear my lights car, just went out too. Actually. When my battery just whatever but the died engine's or something. On. What? The engine you guys saw that? It's getting the current but it took out of here. like 10 different tries. But, oh my God. Holy crap, look at this. Car! Damn, you're in the middle of oh, nowhere. I, lost again. I don't know. Everything's like freaking like, me out again. Now. After Wait, it's like, it I was shut very down skeptical again. for the yeah, whole. Yeah, so like, so, so all those different like things like went off in my car, which you know only was happening that night. And then while I was driving it, how would I be like mechanically change? Like, there is no way to debunk yeah, this. And then the boom, another light while I was doing it was just turned off. How the hell? That's crazy. Isn't that insane? Yeah. There's no way to explain that. First full year I've had my car. Car. And then it like all these lights like broke down broke down broke down and for the past like over a year Oh probably a year and a half I haven't had to take my car in for any light fixtures or anything like that But all of a sudden like three years ago just when I was doing all these rituals my car breaks down breaks down breaks down breaks down It doesn't make any that sense. doesn't make any sense at all and it was like right after the other one And then yeah, that's crazy it was, like in the middle of fucking nowhere dude. All right, you guys ready to watch me take a bath? Y uh, quick synopsis of this one, I take a bath. And apparently That's there's a, a bath demon thing that's supposed to follow you. You do this ritual in a bathtub, and then the next day someone's gonna follow you for 24 hours. Imagine, really? Imagine Is the Is it like paranoia. a bubble bath where you have to like yeah. scrub your armpits like a certain way and stuff? Actually too. though. Really? You have to like wash your hair and oh, say the specific thing. And you thing. did that on camera? Yeah, that's dude, it's so <laughs> weird. And then imagine being paranoid for an entire day because Jesus. like someone's just like behind you. Oh, fuck. I hate that. So this scene is just fucking weird, so we're gonna watch it anyway because this is what I did three years ago. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can't open your eyes. <laughs> okay. Well, who are you talking to? The camera. Oh. But. Dude, you do this by yourself. This is really scary, man. This is scary. Dude, I felt some sh behind me and I couldn't open my eyes. Dude, when I watched this back, I was looking right here going, holy shit, is there actually something behind me? God damn. I was just in this uh, uh, Airbnb by you myself. You have just like one flashlight pointed at you and that's it? Yeah. That's fucking terrifying, why? <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. And what's even scarier is this house, like, I don't know what was going on with this, but it would like shake, like, all the time. 
And so like the doors, just like what just happened with the AC maybe too, would just like go like this. It was so weird. And at the end, I caught it on camera too. Oh God. Like literally as I was leaving. So I'm explaining what happened and I and I was saying there was like a couple different things and I don't know if you remember me coming back to my house or our house but like there was like thing that the painting fell over again and you were telling me about that. Oh yeah. But that was basically the only thing that happened during the day and then I was like you know what that at the end of the day that could have been like our friends pranking us we don't know. But this I was like good god you can actually see the door is like opening, closing. Please subscribe. I know there's a lot of you guys that watch these scary games, but hey, if you're gonna watch them every week, why not just subscribe? Um, but either way. I really hate that freaking wardrobe. That is probably the scariest thing. Oh, it was the wardrobe. I was looking at the white door behind you. Watch this again. Um, but either way. Oh. No, 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 no. And I know nowadays, I don't know what got into us as we got older, but like if that would have happened now, we'd be like, oh, 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 but now it's just like, yeah, holy you know, shit, dude. Like, okay, oh cool. God. That was it. And then I just continued with my outro. I'm like, how, dude, how I. You, that was unfazed. I must I have been care. so jaded by 3 a.m. challenges by that point. <laughs> I was just like, oh, you guys see the door? See, it proves it. Cool. Anyway, so we're going to continue on with my outro. I was like, done with the video. <laughs> take a bath at night, doors will open. Don't take baths at night. <laughs> Unless you want your wardrobe to open. Okay, guys? Move! On. Guess what guys, here's a special 3 a.m. challenge for you. Colby's in this one, so he can react to the old days. And we're at the Queen Mary Go Show. Yeah, I remember this. All right, so basically the card game is you summon a demon. After you do that, you can let the cards, I don't know if you remember this doing, but you will let the cards decide the fate to the answer to the question. Oh, yeah. So yeah. apparently, and this worked, it, was, it actually did work, and it might be like a psychological thing, but like when you put your hands over a specific card, one would be warmer than the others. I remember that. And so you'd flip it over. It felt and like weird. electricity going up your arm like a little bit. Isn't that so weird? Yeah. I think it might be psychological, but also if it's not, that's super cool. Uh, you place 18 cards down in a boxes of six. So it ends up looking six, six, six. Isn't that weird? And you can ask up to 18 questions because each card can be the answer to the question. It's like, if you pull a heart, it's yes. If you hold a spade, it's no. If you pull a diamond, it's a maybe. And a club is I don't know. So watch this. While we were setting up the game, before we even started, we're in a little closet. Yeah. Oh, the, the handprint! Dude, the handprint! Oh. I forgot about that. Holy oh, sh**. It's two handprints. And it's dripping! We're in literally haunted. Dude, it's dripping down. They're dripping down. Dude, that's scary. Oh my god. I just got chills. I forgot about that! And that, we were just sitting in a random closet, and imagine sitting in a closet for probably like 15 minutes prior, and then randomly, that's when you see the hand. Like before you walk in, you're just like, oh, okay, now it's definitely haunted. I forgot how like cold it was in there too. Are we in danger? Are we in danger? Are we in danger? That's not a good question to ask. That one. Yeah. Oh, oh I forgot. Oh my That's god. That's crazy. What are the odds? You had like what, like 12 cards left, and then as you're saying, are we in danger? Is a yes. It says yes. Damn. That's awesome. I, I forgot that. about that. That's the card game. I loved that one because you could actually ask questions and understand things. The other ones are just kind of like random horrifying things happen to you. You don't really get much out of it. <laughs> and the last one that we're going to go over today, the dry bones, dry bones. ritual. 
So basically, Dry Bones Ritual, for those of you guys that know these other games, is basically like the Midnight Man and the One Man Hide and Seek all put together. Basically, summon a dude, you go hide for three hours, and then if you succeed, then you get a wish. Some That's why I'm doing half of these rituals, is because you get a wish. And you can't remember your wish? Well, this one, actually, what's <laughs> crazy, I wished to get a million subscribers. Really? And after this video, Video, and you guys can go back and look at the social blade whatever statistics after this I started gaining like a hundred fifty thousand a month on like YouTube for like Dang two it. three months and like by the end of this summer Which was only like one month after this video. Uh, I had hit a million subscribers So you got your wish so I think I got my wish and even in my 1 million video. I blame this So I'm just chilling in Aaron's room Oh. Is there any way I could have hit that? Yeah, dude. I was <laughs> in this closet for such a long time and I heard something and then automatically this like thing I mean it was lopsided, so I'll give it that. It was like very like top heavy, <laughs> but it just went doink and I'm like why why it's is just it like moving? when these things happen while we're filming it's like how yeah I mean like, yeah definitely we hear like random things happening like the arcade thing or like you know things fall like whatever but like it it's insane when things happen on camera you have to kind of blame it on like the ritual yeah like, even if it is like a top heavy thing like what the f and then this is the funniest thing I think that's happened to me at any ritual at the very end of this I don't really know an explanation for this but also I could have easily hit it as as well, it's just hysterical. I'm still in the same closet. Oh! Oh, shit. What the? Oh my! What the? What? The mouse traps fell on my face. They're just randomly. Look, like it's it comes from like right there. I don't know, like if that was just me sitting on the cabinet that was like moving it. But you know those like mouse traps that were just yeah. sitting there, right? Yeah. That legitimately scared the fuck out of me. That is terrifying. But it's also hysterical at the same time. So that is all my scariest encounters. Woo! Of 3 a.m. challenges. Um, I want to see. Can you give them a rating? Now, now seeing the five of those. Oh man. On a one to ten rating. One to ten? So I'm gonna put them in order. You gotta put them in order. One's the scariest. Five is the least scary. I don't know why, but like the the weird like vibe of the bathroom one freaked me out the most. Actually, the bath game freaked me out the yeah. most. Then I would say dry bones for sure because like you actually had something falling in the head. And then 11 miles because if you actually got stuck out in the what the forest? Yeah. Or the desert? How would you have gotten back? And my car actually was like breaking down. Yeah. Like cars were gone. My check engine light came on all during the one video. Like why? And then I would say the card game because I was in it and I remember how it felt in that room. Now it took me back in time. Take it back. And then the hosting game because I didn't know too much about that. It just like a painting fell down. And that painting sometimes falls down. Okay, so we're gonna blame that on just like you know natural <laughs> causes. Okay, sounds good. So that's Colby's rating. If you agree with them, let them know in the comments. And if you like this video to 50,000 likes, I will do one of these 3 a.m. challenges by the end. Do the bath oh. game. Do you guys want me to do the bath game in the <laughs> That even work? <laughs> if you guys agree, let them know. Everyone, go subscribe <laughs> to him and me down below. <laughs> guys, come on, we need some subscribers. We know you guys don't actually subscribe when you watch our We videos. know you guys don't like it. It pisses us off. <laughs> Just kidding. With all that being said, I'll see you guys maybe in a 3 a.m. challenge <laughs> on Halloween. 3 a.m. merch comes next week, and and we'll see you there, audio. I've got a book out, go get it. <laughs> <laughs>